The message of the law, be perfect. Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5 verse 48. In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus provides a startling summary of the law of God, be perfect. Our Lord had just been teaching about God's law. His instruction was offering a much deeper understanding of the law than the teachers of Jesus' day had grasped. He was showing how the law goes far beyond external behavior alone. The format Jesus used was you have heard that it was said. But I say to you. In Matthew 5 verses 27 to 28, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not commit adultery, but I say unto you, that whosoever looks on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart, he addressed the commandment on adultery in this fashion, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. When lustful imaginations are entertained in our thoughts, adultery has already been engaged in, as far as God is concerned. In Matthew 5 verses 21 to 22, ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, If thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the counsel. But whosoever shall say, Thou full, shall be in danger of the hellfire. Jesus had used the same pattern of instruction to reveal. God's perspective on murder, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of the judgment. But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. When vengeful anger floods our thoughts, that is harboring a murderous spirit within the heart. Actual murder and vindictive anger both deserve the same judgment. Clearly, the commandments of the law of God can be transgressed by the unseen attitudes of the heart, as well as by the visible actions of the body. Again, Jesus summarized such teaching on the law by saying, Be perfect. In the law, God is requiring a perfection that measures up to the perfect character of the Father himself. The law is saying that we are to hold within our hearts and manifest through our actions a character that matches God's. Therefore you shall be perfect, just as your Father in heaven is perfect. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, these words are so humbling and convicting. You are so perfect in every way. I am so imperfect in every area. Lord, even the actions that I thought were acceptable in your sight were polluted by unacceptable attitudes that fall so far short of the standard of your perfections. Thus, I cast myself upon your mercy and grace, looking to you for the only remedies that will ever suffice, even your forgiveness and your transforming power, through Christ my Lord and Savior, Amen.